Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen, wa salatu wa salamu ala Sayyidur Mursaleen. Amma ba'd, fa'awuzu billahi mana shaitani rajeem, bismillah ar-Rahmani ar-Rahim. My dear brothers and sisters, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of the History of Islam program here on Anwaru ul Im, brought to you by Info Air Media. I hope you're all well and enjoying this series that we're bringing to you. Um, so Alhamdulillah, we've done quite a lot already. We've looked at the ancestry of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the faith of the parents of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And in our last episode, we looked at the blessed signs that came before Allah Ta'ala blessed us with the Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And today, Alhamdulillah, we'll be going through the blessed birth of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam what was happening at that time and what actually happened and clear signs for us for us to ponder and look into and give us great motivation on, on how the best of creation was born sallallahu alaihi wasallam alhamdulillah we're always here with our resident imam sub to go through this story uh, with accuracy accuracy and detail alhamdulillah nahmaduhu wa nusalli ala rasulihi alkarim amma ba'd a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajim bismillahir rahmanir rahim مولاي صلي وسلم دائما ابدا على حبيبك خير الخلق كلهم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم الحمد لله today episode in episode 6 of the the seer of rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم we are discussing the unique birth in the world there are difference of opinion about the date of uh, birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam but the most strong opinion is that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born on 12th of Rabi'ul Awwal 20th April uh, 571 571 AD which is 55 days before, uh, after the incident of Abraha the elephant the people of elephant so, so 55 days after that incident uh, and people of Makkah, they have the same opinion because uh, the people of Makkah, they used to uh, visit the blessed uh, house of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi where he born on 12th of Rabi al And it is a unique and great day in the history of the universe. It is the birth day of greatest and noblest Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa for whom the entire universe has been created. Absolutely. Adam salam, was created because he sallallahu alayhi wa was to be created. Absolutely. And the ark of Noah alayhi salatu salam, was saved because he sallallahu alayhi wa was to be created. He is the one about whom the Hadrat Isa alayhi salam, son of Maryam, he gave the glad tidings that after me, a blessed Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is about to come, whose name is Ahmad. It is mentioned in the Quran. Khatib al Baghdadi narrated that the hadith. That the mother of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Hazrat Amin radiyallahu taala anha, she said, because she she is the mother of Rasulullah, she said that when the beloved and blessed Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born, I saw a huge cloud from which the light um, was coming, and you can, and I could I, I could hear, uh, you know, the the voice of uh, horses uh, and the voice of flying birds. Uh, I could hear from that cloud. So I could also hear some human beings, some, some human people, they are talking. And uh, then all of a sudden, my son, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he disappeared from my sight. And I heard that an announcer, he announced that Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is to be made to visit earth uh, and to be made to visit east and west. And he should be made to tour sea and all entire universe. and. He should uh, be um, he should be made to visit all jinns, all humans, all animals, birds. So then, every creature should learn about the name and the um, appearance and attributes of the last messenger of Allah And Hazrat Amina radiAllahu taala she further says that that announcer announced that adorn him. Yani Adon Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, blessed Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, with the shape of Adam, with the marifa of Shis, with the bravery of Nu, with the friendship of Hadrat Ibrahim, with the language of Hadrat Ismail, with the contentment of Hadrat Ishaq, with the eloquence of Hadrat Saleh, and the wisdom of Hadrat Lut, with the news of Hadrat 
good news of Hazrat Yaqub alayhi salatu wasalam, with the firmness of Hazrat Musa alayhi salatu wasalam, with the patience of Hazrat Ayyub alayhi salatu wasalam, with obedience of Hazrat Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, Hazrat Yunus alayhi salatu wasalam, with jihad of Hazrat Yusha alayhi salatu wasalam, with the beautiful voice of Hazrat Dawood alayhi salatu wasalam, and with the love of Hazrat Daniel alayhi salatu wasalam, and the dignity of Hazrat Ilyas alayhi salam, and chastity of Hazrat Yahya alayhi salatu wasalam. Uh, and adore him with the qualities of all rasuls and Sir, all Allah. prophets which came before him so he should have the qualities and attributes of all those prophets who came before him subhanallah subhanallah so beautifully put imam sahab that he had the sallallahu alaihi wasallam had the best attributes the best of all the previous prophets subhanallah that's a great lesson for us my dear brothers and sisters there are so many fantastic lessons from each of the prophets alayhi salam and if you look at our other program we do go into some of the wonders from the quran and the miracles that were given to uh, all a lot of the prophets musa alayhi salam nu alayhi salam but the best was reserved for rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and allah ta'ala took the best of all the pro previous prophets all the best attributes brought them all together into our rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam what a beautiful way to you know describe our beloved prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam of course he is the last of all the anbiya and this again is cementing that message that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the last messenger because he is the best of all the messengers and he is the last one sallallahu alaihi wasallam so it just goes to show imam sahab what what a beautiful way to put it that rasulullah was the best of creation sallallahu alaihi wasallam subhanallah and hazrat amina radiyallahu ta'ala anha the mother of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam she yes, further sir. says that she said that the cloud after the little while the cloud uh, drifted away and uh, he said she said that when i saw the my son was in um, in, in a green silk a cloud a clo cloth of green silk and uh, water was dripping from it and announcer announced that the great muhammad sallallahu ta'ala wasallam has been given the power over entire universe and oh, there yeah. is nothing in universe that is out of his power and control through allah azza allah azza allah azza has given the muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam the power yes, of, of, of all um, uh, un entire universe and sayyidatuna amina radiyallahu ta'ala the mother of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam she further say, said that then i uh, i saw that uh, his face was shining like moon of 14th night and fragrance of pure musk the fragrance and khushboo of pure musk was emanating uh, from the blessed body of my son and then the three men appeared one of uh, them had a silver made uh, water pot and other had a green tray and uh, other uh, the third person had shining a ring and washing the shining ring with uh, a, a water three uh, seven times he mm -hmm. set the seal of nabuwa the the seal of prophethood the you know seal of nabuwa between the shoulder of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wasallam and then the holy rasul sallallahu ta'ala wasallam uh, he lifted the rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and handed over to me hazrat amr handed over to me subhanallah subhanallah what, what amazing i mean subhanallah all the children that are born today you know all the births are the same and how can anybody deny that the birth of rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam was normal subhanallah you know he is a gift from allah azza wa jal and every part of rasulullah sallallahu story even before he was born like we mentioned in the last episode there were signs clear signs that something beautiful was coming so the blessed signs before rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was even born and now even the birth of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam like you mentioned is unique there's there's never been anything like it there never will be anything like it and we just hope that we can be in the presence of our rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam you know when we leave this earth any any final thoughts imam sir Uh, the, the unique birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The final, uh, uh, you know, point I want to, I want to mention how Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born. When uh, you know, uh, every day thousand uh, children they born in the world, and uh, we have to wash them. And there is some, you know, you can say a filth on their body. We mm -hmm. have to wash them. Good. How Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born. The greatest and the noble Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, Muhammad bin Mustafa. Muhammad Mustafa sallallahu alaihi wasallam was born in this world. He was already circumcised. 
and oh, uh, subhanallah yeah already yeah, yeah, and with his uh, umbilical cord already cut and he oh, sallallahu ta'ala sallam was born in the house of uh, uh, of his father in makatul mukarrama in the position of sajda so he performed oh, no, no, no. sajda as soon as he came in this world and what was the word of uh, uh, someone could hear that allahumma rabbi habli ummati oh allah please forgive my umma oh allah oh, please forgive my umma so when he came in this world he remembered umma and when he left the world when the, the sahaba karam was lowering him in his, in the grave rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was uh, uh, the, the lips of rasulullah was moving and a sahabi he heard that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was remembering his umma oh allah please forgive my umma when he went to miraj he he remembered his umma ya allah please forgive and on the day of judgment he would be asking forgiveness Uh, an intercession uh, from uh, for his umma so when he came in this world he performed sajda he was pure and there was no need to wash rasulullah because he was already washed and he his birth was totally unique and when the, the very interesting story when Ab- abu lahab you know he is mushrik and he is kafir mm-hmm. uncle yes. of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he heard that uh, you know my nephew has born and the girl swaiba she came running to him Uh, giving him glad tidings of uh, the birth of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and and uh, with the, uh, with this index finger mm-hmm. Abu Lahab freed Suwaiba because sure. of the happiness or oh, and uh, you know uh, you can say happiness of the birth of nephew not That's on right. the birth of nabi right. he didn't mm-hmm. believe prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam is a nabi he That's freed right. Suwaiba on the birth of his nephew and in bukhari it is mentioned that after Abu Lahab when, when he passed away when he died mm-hmm. and someone of his uh, relative saw him in in dream and asked him how allah taala treated you he said he said i'm in very uh, difficult and i'm 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 in punishment but every monday i'm given a drink in my index finger with which i freed my slave upon hearing the good news of my nephew and i drink that drink so my uh, punishment is lessened because of that drink So look at the you look at the blessing of Allah Azza wa Jal. The kafir is not even you know deprived of the blessing of uh, you know you can say being happy over the birth of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. What we can say about the one who who believes that Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is the Prophet of Allah, who is a Muslim, and he become happy and he. Uh, you know celebrate the arrival of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wasallam in this world so that was totally unique birth of rasulullah sallallahu ta'ala wasallam subhanallah ma sha jazakallah khair imam sahab some of the points you made there that rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he came out he was in sajda and he was begging for us for his ummah and his last words were the same <clears throat> and inshallah if we get there if we get there it will be through the intercession of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he'll be begging for our forgiveness to allah azza wa jalla and even someone like his uncle who was a non believer he was a non believer and he was in punishment even be- just celebrating the birth of his nephew he is given a reprieve of his punishment imagine us my dear brothers and sisters we believe and we love rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we live our life by his sunnah and we should send salawat upon him a hundred times a thousand times every single day what can be our blessing you know what can be our reward inshallah jazakallah khair imam sahab for that beautiful explanation my dear brothers and sisters there will be more episodes coming on the life of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam uh, please click the bell out the bell icon so you get the latest videos and the notifications please subscribe to the channel we'll see you very soon take care assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh If you like this video, please give it a like and a thumbs up. Leave your comments below. Share it with your friends, your family and your children and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. We'll see you next time. Keep watching and spread the blessings to everyone. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.